I appreciate your waiting. Let's identify my next target before I start talking. Uh, the woods. Woody. Very good. Yeah, so thank you for hanging tight while I recovered from nasty, nasty food poisoning. Not a fun condition, and I hope nobody that I care about ever has to undergo it. It really, really sucks. So, yes. Um, there are a couple of points that bear talking about after having completed that dungeon in the swamp down there. So, first off, not directly related to the swamp, somebody quite correctly pointed out on a prior video. Um, UD, after all you talked about hating the words and the fetch questing and the being told to go and do a thing rather than just exploring and doing things of your own desire, um, as much as you talked about disliking that... I can get something here, can I? May as well, since I'm right here. As much as you talked about disliking that, how could you get the Book of Medora this stupid little thing right here and not say that that's not essentially the same busy work fetch questing nonsense. And the Mr. Mr. Miss Commenter, whoever you are, you're correct. You are absolutely correct for saying that. Really? That's the first piece I... Oh no, I actually got an extra heart container, that's why. Uh, what does the Book of Medora actually contribute to your gameplay? What does it contribute? It lets you read a subset of text with a different button. That's all it does. That is the very definition of busy work fetch questedness. Now, it's worth saying that that little example of having to go to a village house in order to get a book and then go back to the desert, it sucks. It's not good, but it's nor is it the worst thing I've ever heard about in my life. Um, it's certainly much, much better than that ridiculous mandatory side quest in uh, Oracle of Seasons where you have to go reunite Queen Ambie with with her long-lost bone captain lover person and get the ship to go out of the desert and that whole big long thing that doesn't really contribute anything to your gameplay aside from maybe a little mini game of having to find something in the desert. It doesn't contribute anything. There's, there's not, no extra fun in combat or in movement or in exploration or any of the stuff that game players actually care about. Nothing. We don't care. I can't... I can, that's, that's a dark rock, isn't it? I can't get in through there. Can I get in? I'm gonna... No. No, I, I can't get into the... I can't get into the village from down here, can I? Okay. I'll go the long way around, probably. Go back east and then try going north. We'll see what that gets me. So there's that. Yeah, the Book of Medora is bad, and I wish it had... There was some more relevant way of gating off the entrance to the desert dungeon. This tree was looking at me. Back! <laughs> that serves me right, my first, uh... Uh, why is this just... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Just a bit blue. Um, whatever. So, it would have been better if they'd found some way to make a gameplay-relevant way of gating you in to the access of the desert dungeon. A fine example of that... Not been here in the Dark World yet. Let's do this. A fine example of that is at the entrance of the Swamp Dungeon, where they stop you saying, hey, you need flippers before you can go any further. That's actually pretty danged okay, because the flippers do affect your gameplay. They let you traverse water, and you have to go through kind of a pseudo-maze combat challenge in order to get to the place where you can access the flippers. And I've um, and then what happens when you get to the King Zora dude who gives you the flippers in exchange for 500 rupees? That, in combination... Is that, there's no bridge over here, is there? Nope. That, in combination with um, Kiki the stupid purple monkey dude who takes 100 rupees in order to open up the first Dark World dungeon, I can kind of understand why where the money gating would come from. Because um, what's what's the most reliable way to get money in this game that we've found so far, just in the context of this LP? It's to wander around and kill things. It's to engage in combat while exploring the world. So, well, I think... Limiting, limiting it to... You have to have this X amount of money in order to get access to this portion of the game. It's kind of heavy-handed. It's kind of brute force. But it's still not the worst they could have done, because at least you can have fun in gameplay while acquiring that money. So, so the flippers are pretty good. Book of Medora, not so good. Um, it took kind of too long. Speaking of flippers, I probably can't swim back over there. 
But here, what the hell? Let's let's swim. See where we can get. It took too long for the game to get to a good gameplay-centric piece of gating, i.e. the flippers. It it took too long. Um, and compared to the other games... Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Hookshot. You can see the grass arrow and the skulls. Yep, hookshot. Let's do that. Um, in the other... In the Game Boy games, in the game handheld Zelda titles... Um, it didn't take them anywhere near as long to get ac get into their intended gating mechanisms, even though the gating mechanisms were ridiculous, stupid, fetch quest, busy work bullshit. I'm looking at you, chompy. Yeah, having to go into a thieves' den in order to get a chain chomp that'll bite white flowers out of the way. Really? I mean, I like chompy. He was cool. He was amusing, but I don't know. That's taking gameplay away from me in order to. There we go. Did my feet just... No, never mind, I don't care. It sounded like my feet, like, stepped in the water as I went over that, but... I don't know, maybe I misheard some one of these bombs... Oh yeah, probably the bomb dude just threw a bomb in there. I like this new sword reach. Yeah, so that was it. <laughs> just had a little, uh, little reflection to offer about the gating that's been offered here so far. And now, we go to see if the same has been offered in... Oh, no pit, huh? In the dark forest. However, it takes me to get there. After I'm finished with this LP project, I think I'll go back and uh, replay by myself, not on camera. Replay um, Link, Link Between Worlds with the same MO that I'm doing it here, because with Link Between Worlds, I was much more patient and graceful than I'm being on camera with an LP. Here I'm just trying to beeline and get to dungeon, dungeon, dungeon as quick as the game will let me. But uh, there I was willing to take my time and look around and explore because the game was incredibly lush. It was very lush and full of a lot of cool stuff to find. Um, here's, here's a good example. Like, um, I wonder if I should even talk about it because I'm afraid I might be spoiling for people who haven't played Link Between Worlds. Um, you know what? I'll... I'll hold off on that. There's a really cool thing in Link Between Worlds where you're interacting with an NPC in a way that directly affects your gameplay, so it actually gives you a motivation to do the thing the NPC wants you to do. But, um, I don't know. Link Between Worlds has been out for several months now, so it's not as if it would be... Um, in fact, has it, has it already been a year? I don't know, I'd have to look it up. Oh, oh, that felt good. I thought for a split second that I'd have to switch my inventory to an item that would let me lift up. Oh, now I'm wishing I had an item that let me jump. <laughs> or not. Wow. Is this is this just a cave, or does this let me go in here? Oh, yep, dungeon. Alright, let's start looking around. Um... So naturally, I want the chest, but I'm fearing if I step on those stars, it's going to change the pit such like... Oh, God damn it! <laughs> what the point is having pits if I can just corner my way past them? Oh, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. I could have... Oh, but that does matter, because I can't walk on these bars. Okay, so I'm not getting up that way. Uh, no key. But I do have a map. Oh, damn it! Hit the wrong button again. Continue game. Continue game. There we go. Sorry. Been a couple of weeks having to reacclimate myself to the controls. Okay, two floors. But this is a this is a dead end. I don't have keys. Yeah, I'm not getting out this way. There's gotta be other entrances to this dungeon. Let us look around. Ah! <laughs> I intended to get in the middle and to do like a swirly sword slash to get rid of all the bushes, but nah, the game had other plans. Bombable? Bombable. Bomb, 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 bombable. Difficult word to pronounce. You're not sure if you're supposed to say the B, the second B in bomb. B bomb, bombable. Bomb, 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 nah. There's stars to step on over here, wasn't there? Yes, there was. Does that change it dungeon wide? Yes, it does. Would this not just take me down to the. Yeah, it does. And I don't have the key. Ah, yeah. You guys are perpetual sources of annoyment. 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 It's like anointment. Can, could I edge crawl on this one? 
Nope, too far. I can just use the hookshot, except I can't hookshot my way back unless I can respawn the bot. I cannot. Oh well. I don't mind losing another heart to figure out what's underneath those things. Apparently. Oh, just magic? That's boring. Apparently it is the thing that dungeon masters have to keep in mind when playing Dungeons & Dragons or similar tabletop RPGs. The single biggest motivation... What the hell am I doing? Stop it! The single biggest motivation that players have is loot. 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 That is the real reason why I enact the professional obligation. Aside from being, you know, careless and sloppy and... How did you get into that position over there? I... You started there when I came into the room. I can't be blamed for this. No, that didn't really get me anywhere new, though, did it? Alright, well... I'm looking elsewhere through the forest, I guess. Oh, god, I forgot how much those things hurt me. I gotta remember, I'm not going out of my way for health or armor upgrades, so I need to actually be cautious. Which is good. That is something... I've never had, like, a little whiff of difficulty in Zelda games before doing this LP series. When I would play Link to the Past as a kid, or even um, Link Between Worlds as an adult, it just would never happen. I would just always have a hundred million hearts and health refills and all the stuff in the goddamn universe to make it in a very easy endeavor. And as a kid, I have no idea what difficulty even is, so who gives a shit then? You just want to do the thing and win the points. You don't care about whether it's a legitimate challenge that makes it fun or not fun or not. I yeah, yeah, die! Are you going to come back? You're going to come back. I just know it. Oh, yep. All right, well, I'll just have to be cautious. You know, the thing that keeps me from having this irritating chime go on constantly. Uh, let's go left before we do the thing. Not going over there. So how many sections of the dungeon does this Master Hand appear in? I don't know if that's its actual name. I just call it Master Hand because of my experience with Smash. Master Hand and Crazy Hand! So which one would that be? That's probably Bastard Hand. It's like the vestigial hand growing on an arm sticking out of the creator's chest because he was exposed to too much radiation as a child. Poor kid. Poor kid, it's so sad. It's so sad how bad it is to be sad. Oh, shit. Shit! <laughs> um, scared? Scared. Lots of dangerous, deadly deadlies. Ooh, if I can do this without dying, I'll be very impressed with myself. Yeah, mummies take three million hits to kill, that's nothing. Ah, fuck me sideways! This is identical to me losing all my hearts and starting over. It would just take me back to the beginning. Oh, fuck shits and saucy bits. Um, okay, let me get back to where I was. Here we are. It's worth noting that the prior room actually makes for something of an interesting, uh, hybrid combat world challenge. Um, not really a puzzle per se, because, I mean, the idea of setting stuff on switches has been extremely well established in prior dungeons. I'm starting to fear there's not going to be much puzzle content in these games at all, or this game at all, which is actually kind of sad. But, um, interesting at least to try... Whoa, 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 what is that thing? I remember avoiding that little, th that little thing, that little... Really? This quickly? Huh. Well, okay, um, I guess... I'll explore here, but I may as well find my way back to, uh, the big chest. The big chest, the big chest. That sounds like the nickname that a mafioso would get. What? Was that it? What's... What's the point of this room? Yeah, apparently that was it. What, just to come in here for a magic refill? Really? Who... Who cares? That's... random. Um, before I go back, I will continue exploring over here, the place that I had not the health to do, and not the heart to try, and not the wings to fly. Oh, that's right, I can't do anything. Um, alright. Well, I'm getting back to the big chest, I guess. Um, I just came here. I'm gonna test something. Is this an actual pit, or... No, it's not, it's a manhole. Yep. That would be expectable.
even though there wasn't any texturing underneath the, the falling point of the hole to show you where you would land. I could kind of guess because, you know, we've had that a trope. Oh, fuck me sideways. That's in the same room, isn't it? Where are you going to put me? <laughs> yeah, so the master hand just picked me up and put me back down again. You are a silly hand. A silly hand and a cilia. Hmm. The topology of these dungeons sometimes confuses me. Oh. Wrong configuration. Wrong configuration and wrong appeal. Oh, 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 this is it. Um, This is where I just was, isn't it? Uh, yeah, maybe, I guess. I took a different, e different exit. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, back to the chest. <laughs> it was this, I believe? This dungeon feels very small so far. I'm hoping there's a portion of it I've not yet gotten into. Um, no, actually, it was over here. Over here, over here. Yes. And what toy? I love finding dungeon treasure. Makes me feel like a true spelunker of the world. Oh yeah, Fire Rod. <laughs> and this one had better actually take up my magic meter, unlike the uh, Magic Rod in Link's Awakening. Oh god, yes it does, look. I'm only going to get a few shots with this thing. Better not waste it. And I have a key now, so may as well go t make use of that in whatever way seems immediately fashionable. Oh yes, those stationary uh, death puck things. That's that's what knocked me back the last time in the swamp dungeon. Yeah. That and being on a slippery surface. What's down here, mon frere? Mon ami? Fuck you! Oh wait, I have the I have the fire rod now, so maybe it didn't really make them easier to kill in the handhelds, but let's see if it does here. Oh yes, it just immediately kills them rather than burning their wrappings off. Okay, good. Oh good. <laughs> I wonder if that'll be a common thing that the enemies I kill with magic are more likely to drop magic. I'll need it. That was unnecessary, but fun. That was necessary and fun. Ah, uh, professional obligation serves me well. Uh, one way exit, or is there a switch in this room I should hit? Hmm. If there's a switch, I know not where it would be. Anyway, I have a key, so I may as well. This is a weird room. To come here to spend a key to get a key. There's probably some other purpose to that, who knows? We'll see. There's one. There's a door. Is this the best that the Super NES could do at emulating prison cells? Oh god, yeah. That absolutely quaffs my magic meter. Well, that's okay. That's okay, because compared to the, you know, knockoff fire rod on Koholint, which you could just use unlimited and you didn't even have to fight anymore, Having a powerful weapon that you have limited uses of is a good thing. I'm quite all right with that. Because then you save it for the challenges that really need it. But I do have bow and arrow, which I haven't been using. Ah! <laughs> I don't... I don't need the compass. I'm wishing I hadn't opened that chest now. Uh, don't be careless. Don't be careless. Carelessness is only a thing that careless people do. Like falling into pits! Fuck you! I can do better than this, I believe. And I think if I go too far to the right, I'm going to end up back in that room with a door closing behind me, so I'll be careful where I go. I will use caution in choosing an automobile insurance provider. Study the room. didn't really land on the pit. But I'm going to if I keep slashing at these dude bros. Ow. <laughs> I 
actually am enjoying this feeling of resource constriction. Really? Uh, uh, God damn it, hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button! Well, hmm. Yeah, according to the map, there should be something right here, I think. Huh. Weird. What's the point of this wing of the dungeon, then? Eh. Ah, well, whatever. Not necessary, not doing it. Waste of time, waste of life, waste of love, waste of strife. And does this... Yep, one way. Puts me back where I was. But I have a key. I have a key to happiness, to longevity, and to excellent ravioli recipes. Um... Hmm. I've kind of been all around here, haven't I? Where would a wise man go? It may be, it may be smart to, like, go out into the woods and look for another entrance to... Maybe a wing of the dungeon I hadn't been to yet. Yeah, let me do that. Here it was, okay. By falling down the pit up above, I was able to hit the floor star things that switch which holes are active and which ones aren't. So it disabled a bunch of holes around this key door. Um, so let's look in here now. What? What's going on? What's the point of this room? I don't... Is there something important under one of those pots? Well, I'm never gonna find out now, am I? Unless I can... But if I step out and try to reset, is that gonna reset the holes in the floor, too? Let's see. So it does. Okay, not worth it. Fuck it, moving on. There was something else I saw, which I wanted to get on camera, because I'm suspicious of sus suspicions. Um, up here... Yeah. That looks a little too good to be true. Let's do my professional obligation, of course, first, but, uh... Pretty easy to figure out. Nothing to read, nothing to bomb, nothing to slash with my sword. I just got a toy, so... Oh, yep, there we go. A new door. A new door opens, and I walk into a giant woody skull mouth. Oh, God, that feels good. Magically expensive, but extremely good. Yee. Aw, shit, Biscuit. I should have saved the key I got. Fuck. That no good, useless room of uselessness? Now I gotta go down here, I guess? What's, what's the gimmick? Do we have a gimmick? <laughs> I can't see myself. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's barriers underneath this bridge that I can't see. Okay. What kind... Is this a puzzle? I'm not sure if this is a puzzle or not. What's... If, if it is, what's the point? I mean, there's no way to tell which is the correct m movement pattern other than just kind of brute forcing it through. Hmm. Well, not, not the worst work. Not the worst thing in the world, I guess. Um, let's see. Can I go down and get that chest first before I go through? Uh, this quick. Um, yep, th uh, this is probably it, right? Here? No? Oh, I probably have to go through a room over there and come back and get the chest that way. But what interesting could possibly be in the chest? I have all of the stuff, don't I? Uh, treasure, key, compass, map, all of it. It's good. So what the hell else could this game want from me? I want to get some hearts and shut up my stupid health bar. Yeah, not taking the hard way, sorry. Look at me. Even after the expenditures of the flippers and giving Kiki a hundred rupees, I'm still almost maxed out maxed out of my rupees again. Not even trying. Wait, can I can I just fall down over here? Ah yes I can. So what's the point of taking Ah fuck! <laughs> there we go. And this is... oh, just a key. So, if I hadn't spent that key on that useless room... Fuck, what? What just happened? Little magic thing t Ah, uh, fuck. I take back what I said before. Apparently, I'm really easy to kill now. So I have to actually be cautious. I have to treat the combat of this game seriously. Complete lack of puzzle. Okay, puzzle. Yeah. UD syndrome strikes again. 
E. Yeah. Yeah. Having to be aware of multiple sets of stimuli. Like, at least three, maybe four distinct stimuli here. The tiles which switch your position on the floor, and so you have to find out a proper route through the maze here. Um, the floating enemies. The pots, which occasionally block your progress. And the fucking master hand. Look, it's just right up here. I'll just run up here again. You know, face plant a fireball, a fire chain, if so you wish to call it. Yeah, so there's like four distinct sets of simuli here. Interesting. This this is an unusually complicated room, and I approve. Not necessarily as you'd want to have all of your all of your rooms be this clusterfucky. It's kind of nice to have it just as a uh, unusual thing, just as a novelty. But still. This this might actually be the single most puzzly thing that's happened in this game so far. Oh, shit, I just reset myself, didn't I? Yep. Yeah. The game could use more of this kind of stuff, honestly. Fuck me! Fuck me! Okay. Actually, focus. Stop talking. Fuck! I tried to hit the fucking thing, and I went into the pit instead. Because it gripped on the... thing. Whatever. Words don't work as I would wish them to. Done, it's done, it's done, let's move on. I see brassiers and I see mummies, so I'm almost certainly going to need the fire rod here. Give me magic, I'm almost out. Thank you! Oh, it's a full refill, okay. Um, is there going to be a puzzle requiring me to have all... Yeah, yeah, I can see, because I need... This is, this is inter-dungeon gating here. Intra dungeon gating because I would not be able to project fire without the fire rod. So let's see. Yeah, I wait for that to go out. Wait for the hand to disappear and then shoot, 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 shoot. I never thought I would miss the ember seeds. <laughs> I, I still don't miss the ember seeds. Fuck them. The seeds were fun enough once you got used to it, but it was way too fractured of a concept. All in all, what is this thing following me? Oh, oh. Am I just like this until I get hit now? Or no, it's a very short-term effect. Okay. Not the end of the world then, I guess. Oh, yep. One of those curtains had to have an exit or an entrance. An entrance to an exit. I'm out of magic. Given the pattern of Zelda boss fights, it's probably a good idea for me to get some before I go into the boss fight. Will it require the fire rod? And if so... I would have a hard time thinking that it would require the fire rod, because of how quickly I run out of magic. I would only have, like, what, maybe four or five hits? Well, five or six hits. So. Um. Oh. Yeah, that's that's the boss entrance. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a nice little change of pace, having it be a, uh, a drop down instead of a door. Okay, let's do this, and hope to God I don't actually need the fire rod, because I have no magic. And a moth. Are you... Are you weak to my sword? Please tell me I can hit you. Yep, okay. We're doing the sword waves then. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, a very complicated arena. I like this. I have to avoid your projectiles. I have to avoid avoid the spike square things. And attack you. You'd probably take fewer hits if I had the... Uh, if I had the fire rod. If I had any magic built up for it, but... This seems like it'd be more difficult and interesting with just the sword, so I think I want to do it that way, honestly. It'd certainly be more difficult and interesting without having a health or magic refills. Oh, this is going to be hard on my thumbs, though. Yeah, attempt number one. That's fine. In fact, that's probably just going to be the last attempt I'll do on camera until I find something interesting. Shit. I'm down more than half my health bar. Alright, whatever. I'll use the bow and arrow to compensate for that if it makes for a good offensive opportunity. Attempt number two. Doesn't hurt him. Okay, sword it is then. Yep, doesn't hurt him. Oh. 
Really? 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 That was disappointingly easy. More than half down in my health bar, no magic, sword only, final destination, and I still beat him. No upgrades on my sword either. Well, that's kind of sad. It's like disappointingly sad. <sighs> and stuff like this that makes me wonder about the relationship between, you know, childhood gaming and difficulty. You know? Did we love it because it was easy and we could get it in our pants without too much frustration, or... Did we love it because it was actually good? Um, you know, just, 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 I... Uh, can I... What can I do to skip this again? I'm pressing all the buttons and it's not making her talk any faster. I guess I am. I don't know. Understands? I understand that I am a firebrand of the land. Yes. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. What... What if she just said that? What if I saved the princess in the crystal, I picked her up, and she goes, Thank you, UD, for rescuing me from the clutches of the evil monsters. May the way of... Path of the hero lead to the Triforce. What would that detract from the game exactly if she just said that and nothing else? Do I have to exit the forest the long way now? I think I do. Okay, um, so what's what's dungeon number four? It's in the village, which is immediately south of here. Um, okay, let me get to at least a new part of the forest I haven't had on camera already. Brevity is the soul of wit. Brevity is the soul of wit. I wish there are so many writers, especially Japanese writers, who would take that lesson to heart. Writing that earns its rightful place. This looks like it's probably an exit. Writing that earns its rightful place in our minds and hearts and memories comes from being brief and profound and memorable. That is one ugly-ass cuckoo. Yeah, I won't bug you. I don't want to accidentally activate a cuckoo raid of skeletal bird things. I wonder if it was after seeing you that I got the... Uh, Got the magical know-how to become an orthonological necromancer. Nah, I can't do that one yet. Please tell me this other one is not blocked. Brevity is the soul of wit. It's a profound thing. I often ponder it. Because the way into the human mind and heart comes from keeping it short. Keeping it relevant. Keeping it punchy. Like, have you ever read a visual novel? I hope the answer to that is no. But if you, have you ever read an, a visual novel, here's a separate question, where that rule was observed? Where stuff that was relevant and intelligible and quick and to the point and doesn't waste your time getting to the good stuff actually paid respect to pacing and, and not just sitting there talking about the function of a motorboat? Like happened at the beginning of Umineko when it was supposed to be a murder mystery. You're a thief, aren't you? Fuck you. No, you're, no. I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna try to steal my shit. I'm not. I'm not down for it. I don't hate wor hate words in and of themselves. I know it often seems like I do because of what I talk about. What, I'm just wandering around looking at shit. Let's let's go up to where the actual dungeon is. Uh, or bomb this wall open. Let's bomb this wall open, because I'm here. I know it would be easy to think that, oh, you he just hates words and just wants to be running around killing things all the time. And granted, that would make me happy. I, in most cases, I'd be okay. Oh, god damn it, that was a waste of money. I can't go over my 1,000 limit. Oh, well. This game is showering me with rupees, so it's not like I've lost a whole lot. Um, what I hate is not words. What I hate is bad words. What I hate is excessive diarrhea of the mouth, or of the pen. Hideo Kojima, I'm looking at you. Anyway, um... That's, that's an aus uh, not auspicious, suspicious statue. I remember the last time that there was like a weather vane or something in Town Square, I had to push it up. But this kind of looks like it'd be too big to push. What am I supposed to do to you, sir? Am I even right? Is this... Yeah, like, I'm standing right on top of it. I'm betting this is the entrance. I'm not seeing anything else that would be, like, immediately obvious. So what should I do to you? I just... I... 
<laughs> how would you like? How would somebody know to do that? I, there probably is some text-based hint or something that would show me this, but I. <laughs> That's weird and random. Pull on the statue's pitchfork and that'll let you get into it. That's weird. Now this is an interesting topographical layout. There's two levels on a single dungeon floor here. At least I think it's a single dungeon floor. You took off two of my hearts at once, just like the mummies did. Oh. Yep. It is a single dungeon floor. Like, at least 50% of this dungeon is this big thing broken up into quads, it looks like. Which is interesting. That'll give me something to work with. But are we going to have the same irritating gimmick underneath these footbridges that I can only walk through part of them and not tell which is which by unless I went by brute force? Um, let's explore an entire quad before I go to another one, I guess. Or not quad. Quadrant is probably the more correct thing. At least now I can see the barriers. We pow. Um, switch? No, heart. Uh, okay, I guess I'm going up. And am I correct? Yes, I am. Okay. We got some interesting exploration to do. Will there be an actual puzzle in this dungeon? I do not know. The most recent, uh, recently I encountered an incarnation of this dungeon was in Link Between Worlds. And I remember kind of groaning slash face palming when it turns out there's an NPC that you need to work with out throughout the majority of that dungeon. There's like a thief girl or something who you need to work with. Oh, no, go away. I don't care. Leave me alone. There, yeah. Impact on a wall. I don't remember being too super annoyed by that NPC. At least, you know, the way that she interacted with you was gameplay oriented, you know. I forget how exactly, but like you both have to step on a switch or something, I don't know. It's been a few months since I played that game. But I'm definitely going to go back and replay it. No. I deny your choice of denial. You don't get to go through the first stage of the Kubler-Ross model, I'm sorry. You will never, ever be rid of the grief of your dead. That's the way I came in. Of your dead what? I can bomb my way over there without having to go underneath. Let's do that so I can maintain my air superiority. And... Oh, I could have just dashed... I could have dashed that one apart, couldn't I, without item switching. By the way, I don't think the game has required anywhere near as much item switching of me as, as the prior games did. Although, admittedly, it was really worst in Link's Awakening. Can I... No, I can't arrow you from above. Okay. It was worse than Link's Awakening. Because, uh... Yeah, nice. I don't want to go up there yet, but let's blow it down anyway. Um, worst... I know, I just did it in front of you right now, which makes me look like a massive hypocrite, but it was worse than Link's Awakening. I remember a couple of dungeon rooms, distinctly, where the whole point of the room was that you'd have to... Uh, fuck you! Go away! You'd have to switch multiple times in the same room to go between your boots, and your bangle, and your sword, or your thing, and your other thing, and your stuff, and your things, and your seeds, and... Except I don't think the seeds came along until later, so I could be misremembering what game that's in. But, still. Yes, perhaps item switching is a staple of the Zelda franchise, but you gotta admit, it's been required much less in this game than it has in those games. Even if for no other reason than your shield is constantly equipped, and... The bangle is not necessary. You don't have to equip a usable item in order to lift stuff. Or or to run, indeed. Um, and maybe that's just a praise of more powerful hardware? I do not know. It probably is. But I still feel like those games could have been designed in such a way that gave respect to player annoyance. And who knows. Maybe the designer of that, of Link's Awakening, they were so sleep deprived because they were staying after work to play, or to design the game that they just went completely into batshit La La Land. I guess I should have taken that blown open door up there. Would it actually get me to the next quad? No, it wouldn't. Let's see if there's a path downward so I can explore all four of these. While I would find myself disappointed with the lack of puzzles, there is at least something to be said for a dungeon where the primary portion of the challenge is combat and navigating topography. 
that's fine. Uh, it, maybe it's not ideal, but it's certainly better than some alternatives. I will have to admit, though, I'm... I'm... I'm seeing where the rose-colored glasses came in with this game. The dungeons feel sparse and empty and somewhat lifeless compared to the th three handhelds. Yay. Where is the Dungeons Evil Master, anyway? Right up there? Okay. Um, this is all four of the quads. So I guess I should start exploring upwards? Maybe? Yes, no, maybe so. Let's do that thing. And sing in the spring. I saw the uh, big key door up there towards the upper right, not even worrying about that for right now, obviously. Oh wait, shit, that just started me all over again. Fuck! Okay, let me get back to that bombable hole I blew open. Here. Where does this take me? Absolutely nowhere! A preview, I guess, of bigger things to come. Uh-huh. Am I supposed to find the big key in one of these four quadrant rooms? Because that's the only other way I can see to get up there. Um, hmm. Well, I guess I'll look around for a bit. Oh, shoot, I remember. There was a chest in the first of the quadrant rooms. It should be right to the left of here, if memory serves. And this must be the only way to get into it. Is this the big key, though? So it is. All right, to that door. That would give me full access, I hope, to the upper regions of the dungeon. Upper reaching words, words. Have you have you ever tried speaking while inhaling? It sounds really weird like this. Oh yeah. I've had some friends be very freaked out by that voice in the past. Um. Yeah, one quandred up. Okay. You watch stuff you've already seen. That's okay. It's right up here. And a hallway. How majestic. I <laughs> just don't even care. Oh, oh shit, is this the boss room? It is! There's, yeah, there's some gimmick to actually getting the boss to appear, isn't there? Alright, I will look around. We will look around and see what is found. Have some cake that is flavored like pounds. Like British currency. That must be a key door right there. And I think this would open up into the room that had the thing. Yep. A little enclave that I could step into without actually going anywhere. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I just had a random thought question occur in my head. When's the last time I've seen a moblin? It might be actually back in the light world, for all I know. Unless they have some dark world equivalent that I don't know how to recognize. I'm betting, yeah, I attacked the little glowing thing and then the... That'll kill the whole body, but probably not worth sticking around because of that fucking skull fireball, which kills everything in sight. There. I actually had to kill them in order to navigate these conveyor belts. Uh, where go, what do, where go, what do. I'm gonna go to all places eventually, so let's go over here. There's gonna be switch crystals, yay. Really? The dark body of the amorphous blob just stops my arrows rather than letting it go through. Is it intentional, or is it a rendering limitation? Is it an interesting movement and combat challenge, having to negotiate my positioning while also attacking enemies? I think the answer is yes. I'm... don't... Yeah, I'm not gonna hit that crystal. <laughs> oh, fuck! Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! Why do I suck so much? Um... Will the switch hook go through? Yes. Sweet. I called it a switch hook. Oh, the handhelds have poisoned me. It is a hook shot, Master Ood. Do not think otherwise. Hmm. Now, is this just a hole, or is that a man... a manhole? It's neither. Why even... Uh, I guess it's just for texturing. Looks like it'll be bombable, but meh. Oh, this is cool. A little sunlight coming in through the windows. It's a nice effect. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder. Hurts torn asunder. This is a unique effect. I don't think I've seen sunlight in any of, any of the dungeons previously. Perhaps with the exception of the castle. Although I don't recall it. 
Uh huh. Okay. 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 There is no reason that we get those bombs, other than to say, do this. Um. Did I just make myself a massive idiot, or did I just not position the bomb correctly? Let's try that again. Ah, there we go. And that's gonna cast light down onto onto the boss room, onto the boss room, onto the boss room. Then what? That's undoubtedly part of the puzzle, but I can't get that. Well, I don't need it anyway. I have maxed out money. What am I complaining about? But <sighs> hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. So we saw the other in the other room. There was a, a broken patch of floor that did not open up when I dropped a bomb on it. So that was just set dressing, I guess. But here, incredibly obvious that I would need to bomb something because of the fact that the game gives you bombs. I wish there was a way to make that less obvious while still having it be doable. Um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't complain too much. The. The art of the video game was not as advanced when this game first came out. So, there wasn't as much expectation to have puzzles really be as much of a thing? I don't know. I'm confused and bruised, and slightly amused. This is gonna be interesting. How do I get back over now without dying repeatedly? Um, I could do this. Let the switches, the switch blocks, meat shield for me. Except, I want it in the other configuration, because I want to go back through that door. Ah, oh, shit, this is going to be difficult. Okay, careful, careful, careful. There, yes. Totally doable when you're just careful with your carefulness. Um, this is probably... Yeah, just another way. No, thank you. I will instead find... Die, I will die. I will die. I will die like a pie in the sky. Pie in the sky idea. Uh, hmm. There's, yeah, I'm not going to go back to the boss room yet. There's, for one, I haven't gotten the dungeon treasure, and for two, there's like a whole wing of the dungeon, or rather a floor of the dungeon, I should say, downstairs I have not, not yet explored. So let's just, let's just go downstairs and hope I can find some hearts in a place where it is safe to enact my professional obligation. That is the biggest damn pushable dungeon block I have ever seen. In fact, it's so large that it makes me wonder if it was even intended to be pushed. Let's try... Nope. Let's try... Nope. And there would be no point in pushing it down. Can I pull it? Oh! oh. <laughs> it's... Li it's liftable. <laughs> okay. That's visually inconsistent. Then why aren't all the small blocks liftable? Fuck me! I have some more hearts, but not much more. It's a very difficult place to be. When you realize that you make only $7,000 a year, and you change your name to Timmy. Ooh, haven't seen these in a while. One of these, um, locked cell doors. In fact, I don't think I've seen one since rescuing Zelda from the palace dungeon. And there's more than one. Okay. I hope they all take the big key. They do, apparently. Uh, no. No, n no. Okay, so I don't remember exactly what happens here, and I'm hoping that I'm not just immediately going to die for talking to you, but... Oh, thank you for just a bit. No. No, 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 no. I'm not buying this for a second. What if I take you back to the boss room now that I've cast a light in there? Will that make you show your true colors? Could be, could be. But I don't care if you follow me around for a bit. I'm betting that if there was some condition to make you stop following me, I could go back to that cell and get you to follow me again. As, uh, losing you and then being able, uh, unable to reacquire you would make the dungeon unwinnable, I suppose. Or so I suppose. Rawr. Oh my. This is not a condition to bring a girl along into. You might not be a, a real girl. You might. What? What's the point of this room? Seriously, what's the point of this room? Is this just a trap? Why? Why is this here? Huh? Everything that's made into a game should have a purpose, and if it's in, in a dungeon, 
and you can interact with it, usually the purpose should be gameplay, not just set dressing. Anywho. What is the dungeon going to give me? Oh, oh I gotta hurry my way out of here. The Titans. Aha! This is what will let me pick up the dark colored stones, I suppose. Is that even gonna be necessary for the dungeon's final for the it's not appropriate to say final boss fight, there's only one goddamn boss fight in the dungeon. Oh, that's another thing that, that Link to the Past is missing versus the handheld Zeldas. Dungeon mid-bosses. Dungeon mid-bosses. Those were a really good addition. I liked those. Those were fun. With the exception of Face Dungeon, who showed up like three times throughout the whole fucking trilogy. Go to hell, Face Dungeon. Yeah, I liked Face Dungeon. Nah. The only thing I liked about Face Dungeon is that he told me, if you defeat us all, Koholint would be doomed. And I was like, fuck yes! Yeah, make this island disappear. Fuck you all to death. Um, I'm really down on my health, but who cares? It's just the first boss attempt. And hell, maybe if it's as easy as the moth was, I'll be able to do it without even trying. Um, I don't know what best item would be to use in combat against you, but let's go. I'm going to put you in the light and try not to get in it myself because I am a creature of the night. Uh, except I have to walk through it for you to walk through it. Aha! I was correct. Ah, too bright! Don't like light. Don't like light. Don't like light. I don't like light. Can I just slash you? Is your head your weak spot like every other boss? Yep. Ah, boo -hoo -ah, boo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay. Interesting. I have to avoid your lasers. Avoid the fireballs that you spray out when you get hit. Ah. <laughs> ah! That's gonna be a lot harder to hit you. Oh, oh, oh! Is this the heart? No, okay, the one on your body is the hurtable one. That's alright, it's just the first attempt. Okay, boss attempt number two, but here's the question. Do I have to go get the girl again and bring her here, or will the boss still be here ready to fight me? I hope the, hope the latter. The latter! And yeah, this one will be quiet on so I can focus. Getting progressively clusterfucky. It's almost Danmaku territory. God, third? How many heads are you gonna spawn off, dude? Shit. 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 Shit! Attempt number eight. Big difficulty jump. <sighs> okay. I think there's maybe three bullet points about that boss fight. Um, you'll notice after the second or third attempt, I, I went out and filled up my health bar because I was just losing too many times with less than a full health bar. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if Nintendo built that boss fight for balanced on the player being able to spam health refills, or if Nintendo intentionally balanced in the proper technicals of how to manage your, your offense and evasion. Because, for one, 
um, where the boss's face was pointing. You could judge based on which direction he was looking in. That's the direction where the lasers would fire. Um, for two, he would fire off a volley of fireballs from his own head every time you attacked him, which meant that you could have multiple offensive opportunities, but those offensive opportunities would become expensive very quickly, dangerous very quickly. For three, having extra heads spawn off and shoot extra fireballs throughout the boss fight, the, the pattern in which those heads fired off the fireballs was predictable from the head's perspective. It was to always do it in the five, in the same like five point star formation, firing off towards one point each time. Um, but as the fight goes on, especially when you have two heads flying around, things would get increasingly clusterfucky, and I don't think any normal human attention could be in enough places at once to guarantee your ability to dodge. So, that boss fight has the pretensions towards the tight technicals that I've been said to love in prior LP videos, but I fear that it might have pushed the randomness a little bit too hard. That's my analysis of that fight. I prefer a fight, though, where it takes me seven attempts versus one where it takes me only two and I only have two hits with the moth. Like, the moth had a very interesting arena with the, you know, the changing of your motion, given that the floor is a conveyor belt. The changing of your motion, the death cube square things flying around everywhere, so you have to watch where you step, and the boss firing off its own projectiles. It created for a very interesting arena, arena where you'd have to put a lot of thought into positioning yourself properly, but the boss had way too little health. The boss needed to take more hits to put down. Um, this fight with, with this boss here in this dungeon, Mr. I don't like the light and I'm going to have a red firing head and a white smock to show my objection. Um, he was more technically interesting, although maybe just towing the line of randomness a little bit too hard. The Helmet Soar, people told me that's what the first Dark World boss was named, the Helmet Soar. Um, it was interesting if you decided to go at it with the hammer instead, and somebody told me later you could do it with bombs, but yeah. The boss fights are unfortunately sparse in this game, and I'm just clinging to any bit of difficulty with great interest, so. That is all I will do for this video for right now. Um, I may do another one later today if I'm in the mood. I might feel too floppy. We'll see. Come back when I come back. Thank you, dudes.